in this video i'm going to be sharing with you why broilers die after four weeks and how you can stop that from happening on your farm so these brothers you're seeing here were actually five weeks at that point they are actually what is left of 204 205 broilers that i used for the raising broilers like a pro master class you know i let some of them go so we have about 50 or so left we are started slaughtering them for consumption already so these are the broilers that we have on ground but you see a lot of people report having issues with broilers on their farm especially after they reach four weeks you can see how these ones are looking five weeks old the breast milk is okay um, at five weeks we had about 2.2 something kg and that is pretty good especially when you're using marshall breed of broilers they are not the best at that rapid growth in the first few weeks and you can see the feet it's perfectly okay there's no foot pad dermatitis there so it means that the litter has been well managed and you know, handling a couple of them, when I was checking the weights, I could see that the average weight was 2.21, but then we had a few of them, the small ones that were weighing about 1.8 something kg, 1.8 plus kg, and a couple of them were weighing up to 2.3, 2.4 kgs. So that's what we have. But then, why do they die? after four weeks some people don't have problems up to four weeks some don't have up to five weeks but a lot of broiler farmers have reported deaths after four or five weeks why does this happen a couple of factors can be responsible for that but i'm going to be dealing with one particular one which is often the major cause and that is when you feed your broilers the brothers that you have tried to rush up from day old to that four weeks, you know, you're trying to get the best weight possible. So, you are not supposed to feed them in the afternoon during the hot hours of the day. As you can see, these worms, most of them are close to the wall. At that point, the wall is still cool, and you see some part of the floor close to the wall. They have actually removed all the litter there, and they try to get to the cool part of the house that means that they are feeling the heat they don't like the heat so you must try as much as possible to help them adapt in that situation where the everywhere is hot the environmental temperature is about 36 degrees already so you have to ensure that you don't add to the heat that is already in their body you want to stop feeding them in the afternoon as you can see the feeders all the feeders at this point are pretty empty because you don't want them to still continue to eat when the sun is out if they do so they can enter into each stroke you can, all you need to do is just give them water let them drink water for the rest of the afternoon any period from about 5 pm in the evening yeah you can start to feed them you can bring in the feed and you see all of them will rush at it but also make sure that the water at that point is not hot it should be cool as cool as possible if you have to add ice block into their water to ensure that the temperature of the water comes down just do it anything at all that you need to do to make sure that they enjoy cool water during these hot periods just do it in most of the cases where people report deaths of their brothers after four or five weeks it is just because of it yeah a couple of times disease but then a lot of time it is heat stress and heat stress can also lower their immunity and allow diseases to easily overtake them having the perfect housing for your brothers can also save you a lot of troubles if you don't have the opportunity to put them on a deep litter like this where they have ample space to roam around and the roof is also far from them if you are going to be using cages then you have to be sure that the kind of cage that you are using is suitable for broilers some cages are just not adequate for broilers because the way that they respond to it is alarming all right so if you have a cage where the roof material conducts it a lot 
I tell you, you can lose all the birds at the upper tier of that cage in just one day because as the roof gets eaten and some of you will also leave them with feed in the afternoon, you know, they are eating, the, the roof is eaten and when you are using cages, some of you, the water will pour and there will be no water for the birds for about two, three hours. That is just the perfect recipe for brella death. They will just die suddenly. So if you are using cages like this, you want to ensure that you insulate the roof and as much as you can, you want to also place it under a shade. Having your cage under a shade is the perfect fix for the roof issues. So you have to make sure that the roof is not heated up and all that. If you were raising cockerels or noilers or layers, like the cockerels you can see here, those ones are rugged and they can actually thrive almost anywhere. But then you also have to give them water if you want them to do well. You notice that with water, their comb will be good all the time. Their comb will be looking bright. But without water, it's going to look purple, pale and all that. So you just want to be sure that you don't expose your broilers to each stress because each stress is a number one killer of broilers above four weeks of age. So that's DIY Hagrid for you, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. If you are yet to subscribe to the channel, you want to hit that subscribe button. Also like the content if you think you like it and then hit that notification bell. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.